Hey, it's Jason from Kinetic. And Joe from Evo. And we're going to demonstrate the suitcase carry with a few variations, which is a great way to challenge your grip strength, your scapular stability, as well as your core. Yeah, so this is really great because it challenges both your uh, wrist strength, um, but it's also great for just overall body positioning because most of us as mountain bikers are also desk jockeys, and so when we're crushing our spreadsheets, we're usually kind of in this position, not really great uh, or strong position on the bike, and we kind of want to undo that. Yeah, so thinking about undoing that position, we want to be as neutral as possible. So he's going to grab a relatively heavy kettlebell and hold this being as upright as possible. So he's drawing his shoulder blades together, squeezing his glutes, and then trying to eliminate as much of the bending through his back, so pulling that ribcage down. Yeah, right there is great. So from here, slowly trying to pull the weight to one side without allowing that kettlebell to shift you one way or the other is the starting point. Starting with some slow breaths. You should feel the core kicking on a little bit. Yep. And we're just gonna go for a slow little stroll. Small steps. Slow breathing is a great way. You should feel this. I mean, where do you feel this? Right from here. Yep, so since the weight's in his left hand, the right side of his torso is going to have to be working a lot harder to stabilize the position. Now, to make it a little bit harder, you can start to march those steps and really challenge your lateral hip stability. And now, where do you feel it? Uh, like, it's definitely, whoa, <laughs> my grip. Uh, but definitely, my hips are having to work. Yeah, so your hips are working, and the longer he holds that kettlebell, the more his grip is going to be challenged. He continues to have a really good shoulder position, so the scap is stabilized there. Um, just a lot of good stuff going on here. So we have a few progressions from this. So we want to change the position a little bit. He's going to grab the kettlebell and start in a front rack position. And actually flip that kettlebell upside down if we really want to challenge the grip strength. There he goes. So lift the elbow a little bit higher, retract the scapula back. So now you should feel a lot more right here. Yeah, definitely in the shoulder. Sweet. So, and then same thing, nice neutral core position as he goes for a little stroll. Great job. And should be really feeling in the same areas, but maybe a little bit more challenge at the shoulder. Yep, definitely. Sweet. And then if you want to continue to press from there, so you can turn on around and then press that kettlebell to the sky, try not to alter the core positioning. Awesome, and you can see that his rib wants to really flare up there. So this is a tougher position for him. You can try to take a huge exhale, and drive that rib cage down, but that's really kind of putting his shoulder in a tough position. So why don't you come down from there? So want to make sure that you're not kind of hurting the integrity of your joints, but really if you're ready for that progression, give it a shot. And we'll see you on the trail.